special job today, but I think throughout the group we've done a pretty good job to have three away games and win two and draw ones. But uh, and really the, the other one we drew, we it was an own goal in the last minute as well. So we have to say, uh, no, I give all great credit to the players for the way they've gone about the job. For a club which is we're relatively new back into Europe, so uh, really pleased. But I think the effort the players put in to get to Europe last year, they've, they've shown it in the competition and uh, really pleased for the whole squad. Job erledigt, sehr professionell heute wieder allgemein. Es ist ein tolles Gefühl, zwei von drei Auswärtsspielen zu gewinnen. Das Unentschieden war auch ein sehr spätes Tor und ich bin davon überzeugt, dass die Leistung heute gestimmt hat. Besonders beim Verein, der erst seit kurzem in Europa dabei ist, da sind wir natürlich alle sehr glücklich. Yeah, he's, he's, he's made such a contribution throughout the years at West Ham and uh, it's his final year as everybody knows and uh, he's contributing still and uh, no, you know what I talk about, we we'll no, we missed a penalty, a big penalty earlier in the season but since then he's uh, you know, he scored two, he scored one against uh, Man City in the, the shootout and uh, he scored again today. So he's a really valuable member of the team, and I always thought that he would be, he would be needed in the front half of the season, especially with all the extra games and group games, and and he certainly helped us out. Mark Noble with his first goal in the Europa League today. Yeah, he's a very important player for us. As we all know, it's his last year, but he gives still everything. Er hat dieses Jahr auch nach dem ersten Elfmeter, den er nicht gemacht hat, hat er zwei gemacht. Einen gegen Manchester City und heute auch einen. Und er ist nach wie vor sehr wertvoll fürs Team. Und wir sind froh, dass wir ihn dabei haben. Ja. Is it a bit of a moment to step back and realise what's been achieved? Obviously, there's loads of games and you've got a lot to think about. But yeah. top of the group, all done. You yeah, it it's, 18 months ago. it's something which I've actually not taken in yet because I... Tonight I was saying, you know, we may have a game in, in next week, which will be really important for next week, but a couple of weeks' time, which will be really important. But I knew that if we could get the job done, and we, we were a little bit unlucky at Genk not to get the job done. But I think tonight, uh, look, we were professional. We've not played as well as we have done. But overall, we we done a job enough to get us through and, and come here and win. So it's probably a really good sign when I'm not, not overly pleased with how we've played but we'll still come away in, in one, uh, one with a relative comfort to that. Yeah. Machen Sie sich schon viele Gedanken über die nächsten Spiele? Ich hoffe. Ja, eigentlich schon. Also in den, die nächsten Wochen sind sehr wichtig und wir wissen, dass wir das auch schaffen können. Wir haben leider sehr unglücklich in Genk verloren, aber heute waren wir sehr professionell auf dem Platz. Aber wir können natürlich noch besser sein. Ich bin noch nicht zu 100% zufrieden, aber es geht in die richtige Richtung. Just Quickly looking forward as well. Mix the one that wasn't here. Um, Mix, sorry. Yeah. You've left him behind to give him a rest. How important is he to the, the way you want to play against teams like City? Ah, well, Mix really important for us in, in the team and the way we play. He gives us a figurehead and you know, gives opposition different problems. So we need him on, on top form. And uh, it's good because we'll. No, it's always good. You know, we've come here and not needed them tonight, so we'll be able to give them a bit of rest, and hopefully we'll benefit from that over the, the coming weeks. Mitch Antony was today not there. How important is it that he is the next week again fit? Yeah, he is very important in our system. He is a strong, fast player, and that's why we need him also in form. And it's also good to know that the game is still good, even if we leave some players at home and rotate. Thanks, Tom. Hi David, uh, you gave uh, Dan Chester's a debut a few weeks ago and you did the same today and uh, with Sonny Perkins. How, how good a feeling is that to bring a 17-year-old on? Uh, well, I've got to say I've given quite a few 17-year-olds a debut, the odd 16-year-old a debut. So I think it's always pleasing when you, when you get a young boy, give a young boy a chance. He's really disappointed he didn't score the header. and. Uh, but he's deserved it, as, as is Dan Chester's, as is a couple of boys who are on the bench, because at the moment, we're under 23s are doing so well. So they're beginning to, you know, they're beginning to knock on the door. I want to be able to use them. Uh, and if they perform, then 
and they run around the way that they do. And he does. Well, he'll give himself every chance of getting another another game. Heute Debüt für Perkins. Er ist 17 Jahre alt. Ähm, wie fühlt sich das an für Sie? Ja, ich habe schon ein paar 17- und auch 16-jährigen Spielern Debüts gegeben und das ist natürlich immer ein tolles Gefühl. Schade und auch er war selber sehr unzufrieden, dass er den Kopf nicht gemacht hat. Aber er hat äh, heute eine tolle Leistung gezeigt und ich, wenn er so weitermacht, dann werden wir ihn mit Sicherheit auch öfter verwenden. One of the things about being in the weird situation of an empty stadium is we can hear pretty much everything you're saying. And you were constantly telling Thomas Suchek to play higher. Was that something that you always do with him or is it a specific to today's performance? No, I thought, I thought Thomas had dropped back and played a bit deeper and I don't think he was needed. I thought we could build up without him joining in in the build up. I wanted him to, to play higher ahead of it and uh, leave the centre half to build, build it up and bring the ball up. But it was a... Uh, no, it was a game where we, we will learn a lot from because we, we know that the standards everywhere you go, you have to play really well. And we played well enough, but not, not at the levels I'd hoped to be playing at. Da das Stadion heute leer war, haben wir natürlich alles mitbekommen, was Sie so ins Spiel gerufen haben. Und wir haben vor allem gehört, dass Sie Thomas Suchik gesagt haben, dass er weiter vorne, dass er höher spielen soll. Ist das etwas, was Sie ihm immer zurufen oder ist das noch heute der Situation gewesen? Ja, also er hat äh, sehr weit hinten gespielt und ich wollte ihn natürlich weiter vorne haben und die Innenverteidiger das Spiel aufbauen lassen. Aber ja, das war heute ein Spiel, wo wir viel lernen konnten und ich denke, wir haben gut genug gespielt, aber da geht auf jeden Fall noch mehr. Any other questions in the room? No. We'll go to Zoom. Uh, Kieran Gill, do you want to start? Hi, David. Hi, David. Hi, David. I'm not bad, thanks. Uh, the now that you're through, and obviously the draws in February and then the games are in March, mm -hmm. um, I suppose, given how good Europe's gone this season, whoever you draw, you can dream about who you're going to draw, but you'll go into that fearless, I suppose. Well, I think we're going to, with a real big confidence that we've done OK in the other games, but it'll become a different competition, and I mentioned that yesterday, a different competition after, after Christmas time, and now it's March for us. But we'll have a chance to look at the teams who are playing, up, playing in February. We'll see how those games go. But it's a great achievement for us to be, to be in European football come March, considering that you know, last year was the first year we've been in for a long time. And I do think that the effort you need to put into being in, the, in European football in the Premier League is unbelievable. The, the standard of the teams, the quality of the games. So... You know, I'm really pleased that we've, we've put in a good effort here and, and been able to give all our squad and all the players playing time in this competition. Also David, ihr seid jetzt durch. Ähm, durch, die, durch die Gruppenphase, wie fühlst du dich damit? Ja, also ich denke, das Team hat ein riesen Selbstvertrauen, aber das Turnier verändert sich natürlich dann auch im Frühjahr mit den, mit den anderen Spielen. Aber das ist schon ein toller Erfolg, erstmal die Gruppenphase zu überstehen. Letztes Jahr war das erste Mal seit langem, dass wir wieder dabei sind und ich glaube, wir haben auch in diesem Jahr gezeigt, wieso wir hier jetzt dabei sind. Uh, Chris Hull, next please. David, uh, many congratulations. Thank you. Through to the knockout stages of the Euro Europa League as group winners, fourth in the Premier League table, last eight of the League Cup. You've had a wonderful career, David. I just wondered where this period ranks in your managerial career in terms of enjoyment and satisfaction? Well, as a manager, when you're winning, it's always enjoy enjoyment. So we're winning at the moment, so I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really fortunate to have a group of players who are performing and their effort and the work they put in week after week is tremendous. And I've got some really talented players who continue to improve. So I don't see any reason why we can't keep challenging, pushing on, competing, whether it be at the Premier League or competing in Europe, I see no reason why we shouldn't do that. I'll be, in fact, I'd be happy to take on most teams. Uh, you know, so I hope that we're, we're able to show that in the, in the coming weeks and months. Katalui, David, you're through in the K.O. Runde, fourth in the Premier League, and you've had already many great moments in your career. Where is this moment now to find? Yeah, so as a manager, it's natürlich immer a tolles Gespiel. Äh, ein tolles Gefühl, ein Spiel zu gewinnen, das genieße ich natürlich. Und ich bin auch sehr glücklich, so tolle Spieler in meinen Reihen zu haben, die so talentiert sind und auch so viel arbeiten. Und ja, wir werden weiter um den Weiß mitspielen und wir werden der Welt zeigen, was wir drauf haben in den nächsten Wochen.
Final one, Chris, or are you okay? I'm great, thank you, gentlemen. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks all. Cheers. Thank you.